Hi guys, this is a walkthrough video for doing the calculations for the lab with percent composition and looking at your hydrates. So a couple of things, when you look at the data table, this top part A through F, that was completed with um, while you were back in the lab. This middle part is a calculation based on your sample. This would be the experimental value here. you'll need that here in a little bit. So the experimental value, so essentially you're figuring out based on your data, these two values here, based on your data, and you're gonna calculate this, this will tell you experimentally how much of that sample was water. And so then that leads you to this last part um, that you have to do a few things beforehand. So the identity of the sample. So if you took the uh, blue compound, that is the copper sulfate pentahydrate. If your sample was green in color, that's the nickel two chloride hexahydrate. And if yours was maroon in color, that's cobalt two chloride hexahydrate. And so that will help you with the identity of your sample. So again, you need a couple of things and we're gonna look at how accurate you were in your experiment based on what you calculated your percent water to be versus what it should have been. So the identity of the sample is based on the color of the salt here. Your experimental value, that's from right here figuring out what percentage of your water, and then where do you get your actual from? And that's how much it should have based on the formula. So what you did here was you completed and found your percent H2O in these four hydrates. So based on the one you had, so don't pick the one that's closest, um, but pick the one you had. So if you had the blue salt, you're going to use this as your actual percent water. So based on the formula, this is what it should have had in the instances. So then again, if yours was the nickel, this will be your actual, and this should be um, if you had cobalt. You then plug that in. The one thing I can't do in Word is put in a fraction and have absolute value sign with their formula editor, which is kind of goofy. But if you get a negative percent, it really should be a positive. I just can't type in that absolute value. And that's going to show you what is your percent error. So you should have those five calculations done. And then from there, um, it says samples one and two. I only made you do one sample. So you're going to identify the composition and then um, reduce your percent error. And what three things did you learn? If you still have questions or if you get stuck anywhere along the way, please reach out to me and I will definitely give you a hand.